I brought up my glasses again. You know what that means. Yes, we're looking for the missing ad in today. Today's Thursday, you guys have been crushing it all week. Welcome back. Yesterday, I know, was a little difficult, but it is okay because today we're going to go over it again. The fact that you are here today watching the video again, you deserve a round of applause. I'm very proud of you, very proud of your parents for pushing through. Subtraction is always a little bit difficult, but today we're going to jump into it again and we're going to be as successful or even more successful than we were the day before. Repeat our I can statement. I can identify the missing part and use subtraction to solve. We're going to focus in on this again. Let's remember that subtraction, our formula for subtraction, say it with me. It's whole minus part equals the difference. And the difference is just what is left. I'm going to leave this on our board today so that we could work through our word problem. Give me three seconds and it'll be up. Our word problem for today says 12 apples were on the apple tree. Mr. Nieves ate some. I love apples. Now there are five apples left. How many apples did Mr. Nieves eat? We're trying to identify the missing part. Our word problems, we are always going to take that same first step, which is using cubes. C stands for circle the numbers. So I see a number 12 and I see a number 5. U stands for underline the question. I'm going to look for the question mark and for the question word. How is a question word? And my question mark is there. How many apples did Mr. Nieves eat? B is boxing our math words. 12 apples were on the apple tree. No math words there. Mr. Nieves ate some. Now there are five apples left. Yes, we learned yesterday that left is a math word. How many apples did Mr. Nieves eat? Now, let's focus in. We're going to start to evaluate our word problem. And when we evaluate, we start thinking about our strategy, and we start to put together our number senses. Well, we know that the total is always the biggest number. That is what we call the whole. My whole is the biggest number. In subtraction, my formula tells me that we start off with the whole. So I'm going to write the number 12 first. I'm going to write it in blue so that you guys can see it nice and clear. 12. Now I'm still evaluating. I'm looking at my word problem. I see the word sum and I see the word left. Which one will let me know if I'm going to do addition or subtraction? The word left. The word left lets me know that I'm going to do Subtraction, I'm taking away. So 12 minus. Then it has the word sum. Well, I don't know if I'm going to put a box here, or I don't know if I'm going to put the box over here. So let me keep reading. Now there are five apples left. Hmm. Yesterday, when we were defining our word, we didn't say that part is what's left. Part is what we take away. 
difference is the number that is left. Yeah, that's what's left over. So I know that my five needs to go where my difference is. So I'm looking for my part. My part must be that special word, sum. I don't know what that word, what that number is yet, but now we're going to identify it by solving. So we evaluated our problem and now we want to solve. Yesterday, we did two strategies that I showed you. We did the eliminating strategy, which is us crossing one out at a time, and we did the number line. I'm going to do the eliminating one again. How many am I going to start off with? I will start off with 12. So count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I know that I need to save how many? Five, because that's what's left. There is a way. So yesterday we crossed out one by one, and then we counted that to make sure there was five left. But I already know that I need to have how many saved? Five. So right off the bat, to make it faster, I'm going to save five right now. So I'm going to count, and the way that I'm going to save five is by drawing a circle. So I'm going to put those in a circle because I'm not crossing them out. I'm not taking them away. I'm just going to keep them in a little bag because I want them to be safe because that's what's left over. So I have one here, two here, come up here. I have three, four, and five. Let's count to make sure that I kept five safe. One, two, three, four, five. I didn't cross them out because that's what's left over. Now, I could easily cross out my numbers and see how many I took away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because I showed a new strategy, I want to check my work to make sure that I am correct. So I'll draw my famous number line. I'll put my numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm going to start at the number, you guessed it, 12, and I'm going to stop at the number 5. Am I counting on with subtraction? No, I'm counting backwards. So count backwards with me to the number 5. We have 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. I said 5, that's how much I have left over, so I'm going to stop here. Now let me cross out my mountain tops and see how much I, I moved by. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The seven equals seven. It is the same number. Did I solve my work? Yes, I did. Now I'm going to answer my question. How many apples did Mr. Nieves eat? How many apples did I eat? Seven apples. What I want you to do is before you go into your work, I want you to watch this video again. You can watch today's video and yesterday's video to help you identify subtraction and the strategies that we use. Remember, the formula for subtraction is different than addition. Subtraction is whole minus part equals difference. Start off with the greatest number. We usually don't know what the second number is, but we do know what the difference is. If you know at least two numbers, you can solve for that third number. Tomorrow, we're going to do this again, and we're going to do addition at the same time. Push through it. You guys have this. You guys are smart. Use your drawing technique to help you out or your number line technique to help you out. Push through it. I'm going to celebrate you guys right now because I know you're going to crush this math work today. See you tomorrow.